These are around 28 EPL predictions. Last week was a bit tough, but we're aiming to get back on track this week. Lumps, take us away. Our first pick is Brighton taking on Liverpool. Now, Brighton have had a tough last four games with four losses in a row, but they did have three draws in a draw before that. Not too hot, but did look good. The previous game against Newcastle, there was a red-hot Newcastle team who was unbeaten in their last eight. So it's not the worst result. But they're going to want to get the result here after four losses. So we expect them actually to get a goal here against Liverpool. As Liverpool, as you can see, have come off seven straight wins. Their heads are just way too big at the moment. They are due an upset or a goal or something to come their way. So we're going here, both teams to score, to hit. Our next pick is Brentford taking on Burnley. Now Brentford have finally cured their winless streak, beating Norwich 3-1 last week. Burnley, on the other hand, after beating Tottenham, we expected much, much bigger things from them. However, they got absolutely murdered against Chelsea and Leicester and only managed the draw against Crystal Palace. So we see an informed Brentford side maybe making a little bit of a surge out of that relegation zone. So we're going Brentford to win this one. Our next pick is Manchester United taking on Tottenham. Now, Manchester United did get thumped by Manchester City. Manchester is blue, if anyone is wondering. But before that, they did look quite hot. In their last seven, before that, they had four wins and three draws. So really, a stumbling block over there. Tottenham, on, on the other hand, are in a red-hot form, scoring nine goals and conceding zero in their last two against a poor Everton team and also a poor Leeds team. But they are are hot and cold they look like they're going into form at the moment we are going to back united to hit another stumbling block hit a hurdle and tottenham to jump out the gate here but at the end of the season so we're going draw or tottenham to hit our next pick is chelsea taking on newcastle united now newcastle have been in absolutely incredible form not suffering a loss in their last eight. No one would have believed you if you said that at the beginning of the season. Chelsea, on the other hand, also only one loss in their last eight. And that was to Manchester City, the golden boys of the Premier League. This might be a closer game than some people think. However, we do think Chelsea has just a little bit too much quality for this Newcastle side. So we're going Chelsea to win this one. Our next pick is Everton taking on Wolves. Now, these two teams do not enjoy drawing in the last 16. There has been zero draws. Both teams have lost their last three. So, just the form really taking a big hit here. We do expect both of them to be happy with the draw after the three straight losses for both of them. So, we're going a wild pick here and we expect the draw surely to hit here. So, we're going draw at 3.25 odds. A bit of value. <laughs> Our next pick is Leeds United taking on Norwich. Now both of these teams are in dreadful form. Leeds only winning one out of their last eight and Norwich with only two out of their last eight. Leeds, however, have been playing under their potential. We do think with this new manager, they are expecting a bounce in the second game back. So we're gonna back here, Leeds to win. Our next pick is Southampton taking on Watford. Now, Southampton have only lost two in their last eight. They are in quite good form with four wins in that last eight as well. Where Watford, on the other hand, they did take a big loss against Arsenal. A 3-2 defeat. They can take some pride out of that. They did score two goals there. They have, however, improved their defense with five clean sheets in their last eight without keeping a clean sheet for, I mean, in three managers before that, they didn't keep a clean sheet. So definitely stuff happening over there. We do see a tight one here though. We just don't think Southampton are going to put a lot of goals past this Watford team. Watford are looking a lot stronger in defense. So we're going under three and a half goals to hit. Our next pick is West Ham taking on Aston Villa. Now West Ham suffered a 1-0 loss to Liverpool in the last outing out. Not a bad result for them. Aston Villa, on the other hand, have two wins in a row. Very, very good from them. Thumping Southampton and thumping Brighton. So they find in some form. Stevie G stepping up there once again. We do feel like West Ham want to win this game. They want to get into the UEFA Champions League for next year. They need to win some games. So we're going here. West Ham to win at very high odds of 2.17.
Our next pick is Arsenal taking on Leicester. Now, Arsenal have been in great form as of late with four wins in their last four. Leicester, on the other hand, have also been finding a bit of form with two wins in their last two. But before that, they had three losses and two draws in their last five. So both teams are quite on the way up here at the end of the season. We are expecting both teams attacks to be red hot here and goals to go in. So we're going over two and a half goals to hit. Our final pick is Crystal Palace taking on Man City. Now Crystal Palace have been in okay form, winning two out of their last three games. Man City, on the other hand, we've said enough about them. They're the golden child of the EPL. All they can do is win. Only suffered a loss against Tottenham in their, last, in their third last game. Also coming off of a huge, huge win against Man United. Made me cry a little bit. However, we do think this game is going to be tighter than what the odds suggest. That's why we're going under one and a half goals in the first half. Guys, thanks so much for watching yet another episode of the Big Match Talk Show. If you aren't subscribed, please subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.